Hi, my name is Josh Moore with Case IH, and today we're going to be talking about transferring data files from AFS Connect to Viper 4 monitors. So let's dive in. So when taking a look at the AFS Connect farm portal, to start sending files to Viper 4 monitors, we're going to come up to the top and click on the export button to start the process. So this is going to bring you to a page that you can select what file format you want to be sending to your monitor. So because we're sending it to Viper 4 monitors, we want to click Raven ISO XML files. Once we click that, it's going to set it so it's the correct file format. And for our destination, we are going to select Send to Equipment because we have already connected our implements to Slingshot. This will allow us to send it directly to the monitor and not have to download it onto a thumb drive to bring it out to the monitor first. Then we can click Next. This page is going to decide where we want to export to. So for our organization, we can select our grower account in Slingshot. If you have multiple, you can select whichever ones are important. And then the field can computer is going to be what monitor we want to send it to. So we can either select all at the top and send it to all of them, or we can just select a couple or a single one depending on what files we're sending and where we want them to go. After you have what you want um, selected, we can click Next. So this hierarchy is going to be our grower farm and fields. And this is going to be kind of where we select what we want to be sending to the monitor. So if we have multiple growers selecting a particular one, um, farms as well, which ones do we want to send to the monitor? Down below, um, we can include what different items we are going to be sending along with that that are relevant to the fields, so products, prescriptions, swaths, and boundaries. In this, we're going to be sending swaths as well as boundaries. So we can select, if we have a particular heading and swath type, we can select whatever might be relevant to that field work. We can also select for what operation that we are going to be running. So whether it's spraying or planting or harvest. Finally, we can select individual headings. For boundaries, um, we also have an option to include a buffer amount. So if you have a tight boundary to the side for your acres, if you want to make sure that you leave yourself a little bit of wiggle room for um, making sure that our shutoffs aren't turning off, um, we can include a buffer amount um, on, the, on the outside edge of our boundaries. We can also include an inner um, boundary. So if we have any groves or rock piles on the inside of our field that we want to make sure that we include in a boundary, we can also select these if we would like to. Once we have what we want to send to the monitor, we can click Next. So this export preview is going to allow you to take a look at what you are all including when you are sending it to the monitor. So we can take a look through at all of the different items that we've selected, make sure that we have everything that we want before sending them. Once we have what we want to send to the monitor, we can click Finish. This final page allows us to see that we have a confirmation that the data was sent. Now that we've sent this information out to the monitor, we're ready to go out, import the data, and start our field work.